I meant by that is I don't think that that should be the standard. You know what I mean? Like how like like you know like how like the urine test is the standard, right? I don't feel like a drug test that goes back you know months. You know what I mean? Should be the standard. You know what I mean? Because it's like you know now now you punishing this person for you know a lifestyle that they may not you know be into anymore when you know um you know you can have somebody go do a drug or a drink or whatever type of narcotic that won't show up in their system months later what's up youtube welcome back to breaking truckers gentlemen you had my curiosity but now you have my attention. Oh, okay, Malcolm McCrory. But we're gonna yep. start. We we're gonna start this off as Columbus, Ohio, in the building. Most definitely. <laughs> That's what's up, my guy, Columbus, Most Ohio. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Home state, home state, Ohio. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up, man. Born and raised. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Born and raised, bro. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. I appreciate uh I appreciate you know meeting people from uh from my home state and chopping it up with them and every day, man. So thank you very yeah, much. Man. All right, For man. Sure. All right, man. So I'm 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 assuming you're a trucker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yep. okay, okay. So we 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 just gonna go ahead and uh jump right into it, man, because uh you sure. you know I I, I got a I got a breaking trucker episode that uh that posted today and uh and the topic is yeah. you know the FMCSA is changing the way uh that they doing drug testing in the future. Uh right, right. now right uh -huh. now FMCSA recognize um recognize urine as you mm -hmm. know as as for their drug testing but I, I was just saying that yeah the um that the urine drug test is the standard for the uh dot all right all right so look man I, look I, I i hear you guys i i hear you guys because every time i talk about this subject or even bring it up i have i have a lot of a, a a backlash. All right. So in what? one particular comment, you know, you you made you made some good points, and uh -huh. I'm I'm glad you reached out to me so you know we can we can go back and forth on it. Now in one sure. point in in one point you said uh, that uh that you 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 don't think it's right for them to go back maybe about three four months you know if they was if they was smoking weed every day i'll change that when 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 i edit this down but um uh -huh. but uh you you don't think it's right for them to go back as as far as three months or four months just because somebody smoked it weed in in the past that shouldn't have nothing to do with them in the present why why do you say that no more wasting time let's get it Hold on. Now, what I meant by that is I don't think that that should be the standard. You know what I mean? Like how, like, like you know, like how, like the urine test is the standard, right? I don't feel like a drug test that goes back, you know, months. You know what I mean? Should be the standard. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, now, now you punishing this person for. You know a lifestyle that they may not you know be into anymore when you know um you know you can have somebody go do a drug or a drink or whatever type of narcotic that won't show up in their system months later you know they can go do that drug and that'll be out of their system in you know two three days you know that drug may be you know 10 times more harmful to the driver, to the road, to the community, then, you know, a simple joint that might show up in your system, you know, you know, five, six months down the line, you know, that was, that was my point that I was trying to make. I just don't feel like drivers should be punished for, you know, just something, you know, that they did, you know, okay, some months back. Okay. Okay. I, you know what? I, I, I agree with you. I mean, I, I mean, if you, you know, truly, you know, if you, if, 
you know, for some odd reason, you you sat down with your life, with your life self, and said, "Look, I gotta yeah. make it. I gotta make a change." Uh, my right. family is struggling. I'm struggling. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, maybe you know, maybe I need to you know put down you know put down what I've been doing to, for medicinal purposes uh-huh. and all like yeah. that. And I I get you on that. I I get you. I I get it. I understand that you change your life and then you start you start looking into trucking as a way of 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 making things happening for you in your life. But this yeah. is for like, but this is for like, my thing is for like drivers that's already in the game and for new uh-huh. people that's coming into the industry that always say, you know, always ask that question, well, what what companies is not doing a hair follicle test? Because, right. you know, I, I may or may not still be doing the drugs and all like, I mean, doing the right. weed. Yeah. And we're, we're keeping nah. it specific we're, we're keeping it specifically on the weed because, you know, there's other uh, contraband out there as well. But, yeah. you know, but weed is pretty much, you know, pretty much the the, the theme here because everybody, yeah. you know, everybody done it. Everybody does it. And even yeah. and, and still, even in the trucking community today, we still got People drivers still doing, it, yeah. doing it. So right. what the what the alliance is saying is that all the drivers that that wanted to come on and that we tested with the hair follicles yeah. they didn't pass they they right. didn't pass you know you got right. you, you got thousands of drivers you got dr- thousands of applicants that just didn't that just didn't pass but they can they can get through the loophole of finding yeah. a small company that just do urine, and they can yeah. and they can get on, and then for some odd reason they they'll take a hit, they'll take a joint on their yeah. thirty four yeah. or on their ten, and yeah. go out and there, they'll dip right back into that habit, right. yeah. yeah, yeah, and go out there and cause some type of accident. Now you said, yeah. now you said, um, you said in the comment, you said simply. That they can go into flying J's and pilots and all of the truck stops to, to you know, buy beer and you know mm-hmm. alcohol and all like that. And you said right, right there that that tells you that they don't care about safe drivers. Why? Why mm-hmm. would you, why would you say that before I made my rebuttal on that? What I mean by that is this, right? Okay. If you look at the two, a joint, a tall can of beer or a 40 ounce of beer, you know, whatever, however much beer you feel like, you know, consuming a joint versus a beer. You know, it's like you picking between two evils. I, I, I rather I rather a driver not be intoxicated or high at all. But I for damn sure, well, off for, excuse my land, I for darn sure don't want to be nowhere near the driver that done drunk him a few beers or drunk him a beer at all operating the truck. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If, okay. if anything, you know, whoever didn't, you know, rode that joint and smoked it, you know, <laughs> your load might be a little, your load might be a little late, but, you know, I, I doubt if he's going to get out here and, you know, tear everything up, you know, along the highway. But that guy that done beers or he you know he's getting ready to tear something up but at the same time that man that drunk that beer he can drink that beer go take him a drug test and in, in 24 to 48 hours and be fine you know what i'm saying but he could have yeah. just you know killed everything on the freeway you know last night off of those beers God, this coffee smells like shit you know but that guy that you know might have recreationally you know smoked him a joint you know, hey, next day, he fine, just like the driver that didn't drunk his beer. You know, he's sober the next day. Mm-hmm. You're punishing him more than you're punishing him. Mm. You know, okay. You got places where you know, may, you know, where marijuana is just as is just as, as legal as a beer. You know, you go over to Michigan, it's just as, as legal as a beer. You go to California, it's just as, as legal as a beer, and they treat it like a beer. You can recreationally smoke a drink, like like you can recreationally drink a beer. As long as they don't catch you in your car doing it, 
mm-hmm. at, you know, at that moment, you know, all right then. But, okay. you know, if it's just in your system, you know, over a while back, nah, I don't, I don't feel okay. like a guy should be punished for that, man. Well, okay. a guy can go drink him a, a alcoholic beverage, okay. you know, whenever he wants to legally and good and get out here and kill people. Okay. 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 Good point. Good point. You know. All right. So what I was going to, you know, what I was going to rebuttal on the fact that, because, you know, you're not the only one that says, you know, why these truck, they, and they specifically saying truck stops, sell beer and alcohol. Okay. Uh-uh. So yeah. my rebuttal on that is, is that it's still a store. It's still a convenience store. It's still, a, it's, it's still, right. a, it's still a, it, 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 not only that truckers, you know, j- you know, j- because they got a parking lot made for truckers and we could stay there overnight. It's still a convenience store, you know, regular, yeah. regular four wheelers, regular people is going to come in, regular neighborhood folks is still going to come into the store and, yeah. and buy their, you know, buy whatever knickknacks and all like that. And of course they're going to, oh, yeah. they, they, of course they're going to go and get their, you know, alcoholic beverages. So that's that's the yeah. point that I want to get out uh, as far as, I get you know, what you're saying. as far as why I think, you know, all the truck stops, you know, still sell an alcoholic beverage. For the yeah, truck, yeah. now for the truck driver, you know, you got to look at it. You, 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 you got to look at it this way. Like uh-huh. if that truck driver is on his 34, uh-huh. And let's say he parks his truck at the truck stop. There's right. a hotel across the street or in the uh-huh. area. He stops, right. he, he stops in, grab, you know, grab some alcohol for his 34, and then he goes to the hotel. All right. Not necessarily going back to his truck. All right. Right. But let's just say he's going to a hotel or something like that. So uh-huh. I I just think that it's okay for that point. Now, yeah. now, if you're getting the alcohol and going back to your truck and you're on your 34, uh-huh. that's a gray area right there. That, yeah. That's a gray area yeah. because, you know, technically you're not supposed to have alcohol in a, C, <laughs> in a CMV. But that's a right. again, like I said, that's a gray area because we don't know if he's on his thirty four, or yeah. you know, or whatever the case that he may be. Now on the yeah. flip, now on the flip side of that, that's my favorite word, flip side. <laughs> on, on the flip side of that, then uh-huh. you know he'll get he'll go in there, grab grab a case of beer, and then he's you know back on the clock and he's drinking. Then yeah. that's that's the problem, right there. Yeah, major, 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 major violation. Exactly, exactly. That's but that's the I, problem. I don't, I don't disagree with you at all, though. I, I, I don't have a problem with a driver enjoying a beer on his thirty-four. You know what I mean? Enjoying an alcoholic beverage on his thirty-four. You know, I'm a driver that likes to enjoy an alcoholic beverage every now and then. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that alcoholic beverage and that marijuana joint should be treated the same, you know. But, you know, I I understand at the end of the day, it's about the test results. You know, it's about the test results. You you just simply can't test for alcohol like that. You know what I mean? It's out. It's, you know, it's out of your system in, you know, a day or two, you know. And I just feel like this is just punishing the lifestyle is punishing mm. the lifestyle of mm. people who like to just recreationally smoke a joint, okay. you know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody out here smoking a joint, you know, hurting, you know, hurting people like that. You know, it's been all type of tests and, you know, and people, you know, doing research on it for, you know, years and years, you know, we all know, you know, marijuana ain't out here hurting people, but at the same time, you know, you want to be in this industry. You want to be a truck driver. You got to abide by their rules. You got to abide by their laws. You know, I'm a truck driver. And at the same time, I like to, you know, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it funky with you. I like to enjoy marijuana. But at the same time, right now, I'm not currently driving. Mm-hmm. I'm not driving right now. I am not employed as a truck driver right now. 
Okay. You know, so I can so I can sit down on my free time and enjoy some marijuana. And before I go get myself back into the industry, I'm going to give myself clean plenty enough time to, you know, be clean. I will not be under the influence of any alcohol, any, you know, any any type of substance when I get back on the road. Okay. But as of now, I'm taking a, you know, some much needed home time. I'm relaxing. I've been chilling at home with family. Right. I haven't been on the road. I haven't been driving trucks. Right. So, you know, so at the same time, I can see, I I can look at it from both sides. I'm a truck driver. So of course I want safety in my industry. I want safety in the industry that I work in, you know? So I do, you know, I do want there to be drug tests and, you know, I don't have a problem with places doing, um, Drug test. you know, hair tests, yeah. okay. you know, Hey, I don't, I, I don't have a problem with places doing a hair test. I just feel like there should also be a place, you know, there's also room for places that don't do a hair test, Okay. you know, okay. cause you know, you, like, you know, like I said, you got, you know, it's punishing a person who might can get the, you know, stuff together and really have put that, you know, put that mess behind them. And I'm going to give you a prime example, right? Mm-hmm. I'll keep it all the way funky with you. It's one of these mega, I ain't going to say the name of the company, but it's a mega company out here, right? Mm-hmm. We all know the name of this company. Mm-hmm. I, failed a, I failed a drug test for this company, okay. right? I failed a hair test for this company. Okay. So it didn't It didn't get reported on my clearhouse or none of that. Right. And, you know, I'm good. But I can't go work back for this company or any company that's um, you know, associated them. with them, right? You know, with you know, with, which is fine. It's only you know two, you know, it's only two or three companies out of you know thousands of companies that I you know, can go pick from. So right. you know, um, you know, so I'm fine. I can still get out here and go find work, but just guess how long I was clean, and I and I mean this, I was literally clean for this amount of time. Didn't smoke, didn't do anything, and still mm-hmm. fared the hair test. I was clean for ten months, mm. and still and still failed their hair test. You see, they went back, they 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 went back that far to to, right. to figure that you know you at at one point it, it wasn't in your system right. now or you know now or anything uh-huh. like that, but yeah. at one point or another, and I see where you're going yeah. with this. At one point or another. It was in your system, and that's how they exactly. found it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, yeah. I see where you're going with this. You you, you said, look, but, 10 months ago, you know, you already said to yourself, like, look, I'm about to go and make this I'm happen. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and stop doing this so it could just alleviate out of my system and all like that, and you chose to go with this particular mer- mega carrier for whatever reason, and then you took yeah. the hair follicle test and then boom, they came back and said, oh, okay, well, you know, we went up to like 10 or a year. Usually they only supposed to go back as far as three months, though. But I guess and I guess this particular well, company yeah. kind of went back as far as 10. I mean, uh, what I say? 10, three months. Yeah, I said three. Yeah. And they, they went back as far as 10 months to find out that you yeah. at least you had it in your system yeah. at one point. Now, now, my question, mm-hmm, my mm-hmm. question is now is now this may or may not be a stupid question, but mm-hmm. do they want a do they want a clean driver mm. or do they want to punish somebody for their lifestyle? Put that coffee down. Mm. And I, I, I'm not saying punish me for my lifestyle because I mean, hey, they they just might not want people that was, you know, in, you know, in, involved in that in any kind of way. And I can mm-hmm. understand that. Mm-hmm. But that's but that's but that's another. But that's that right there goes with my point where I said there also should be a company where, hey, they will, you know, look past that lifestyle that you that, that you used to been into at least and give you a second chance. Yeah. Give you a second chance give or you, give you a chance. Yeah, and see, in in which you in which you go on that route, you might get paid less. You might have to work with you know, um, you know, lesser than equipment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You might have you you might have to go through some BS. I but hey, Western if Express. that's what, 
Exactly. And that's who I had. Listen, that's who I was working for. I. E. <laughs> that's who I, I was e. working for. I e Western Express. <laughs> hey, but see, that that right there is. That's one of the reasons why I appreciate a Western Express mm-hmm. for for the drivers that's really dedicated. Mm-hmm. For the drivers that's that that really want to get their life turned around and really want to put that stuff behind. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. speak for them drivers. I drivers that want to go get the fake urine and fake the drug right. test and then get back on the truck and still, you know, want to keep, you know, smoking bud. Nah, mm-hmm. nah, nah. I don't, I, I don't rock with that because I got children. I got a mom. I got family. I got loved ones. And they're on this road, too. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, you can end up, you know, doing something, you know, bad to them. Right. You know, when I, when I, you know, when, when I, when I, when I drove trucks, I didn't fool with that stuff. Mm-hmm. I put that stuff down. I didn't smoke weed. I didn't do nothing that was going to alter my system, alter my mind. You know, I flew straight. I made sure I passed my drug test the right way. I didn't, you know, none of that. I put that lifestyle behind me because I really wanted to be a truck driver and I wanted to be a successful and a safe truck driver. You know, I just yeah. feel like a driver that really want to put his best foot forward and put, you know, that stuff behind him. And really be a safe, you know, law abiding truck driver and do things by the book. I, I don't feel like that driver should be punished, man. Now I don't feel like that driver should be punished. Now for you, for you, uh let's 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 uh let's keep it one hundred. For you, you got lucky. I mean, like right now, mm-hmm. you know, right you know, you you didn't pass the hair follicle test, but you you got with another mm-hmm. company that only did the urine and you got in. But what if they did had the 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 hair follicle test in the FMCSA at that time, it will be. And I'll be stuck like Chuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll be messed up, man. I would, but I I I, 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 I really agree. would be messed up. I agree with you on the point that you know, ten months like it's a little bit of stream, yeah, man. I, I mean, I, yeah, I agree like, with you. That you that know? is kind of a little bit of stream. I yeah, mean, especially I'm for clean, man. Ten it's, months, right? I'm clean. Man. You you took the time because that's what I said. Like, look, you know, a lot of people ask the question, like, how long does it take? How long should I wait? How long this, that, and the third? What kind of magical uh-huh. magical concoction out there that I can that I can drink and all like that? Now, I say about, I I said maybe about six months. But bro, you yeah. you 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 literally made yourself clean for ten and still bro, got popped. I promise you, bro, I was clean. I didn't touch a joint. I didn't touch nothing. You know, no type of narcotic. No none of that. You know, I don't. I I don't. You know, some some people might not even consider weed a drug, but I don't. You know, I don't do drugs. I don't do pills and heroin. You know, crack. I don't. I don't do drugs. So you know, I smoke. You know, I smoke some weed, and that was it. But when I want, when I decided I wanted to go over the road and be a trucker, I really put that down. I really changed my life. I was at home, you know, drug testing myself, buying drug tests Mm. for, you know, for myself, making sure I was clean because I wanted to do it the right way. I wanted to fly straight. I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, cheat the system. You Mm. know, I wanted to be a professional driver, you know, which meant, you know, do you know, which meant doing it right, you know, um, taking your, you know, taking your drug test serious. You know, I took it serious, man. And I still do. That's why I'm not on the road now. Okay. And like I said, you know, um, when I do when I do decide to get on the road, which 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 will probably be Soon. by the end of the year, okay. I'll, I'll probably get back on the road by the end of the year because you know I'm done fooling with the herb now, so I'm getting myself clean, clean now. right so now. Okay, I'll, yeah, I I'll be back on the road by the end of the year. I figure from now to about you know December, you know around you know December January, I go ahead and you know hop back on the road and you know get right. But man, it's wild, man. It's uh, wild, man. All right, um, all if right. they, I feel like if they do make that law to where it's um to where the DOT does hair honor follicle. and recognize a hair follicle as their standard of a drug test, I mean, mm. at the end, you know, it's, it's, it's good be, for the, you know, it's, it's good be, for the safety. It's gonna of be the, um, it's, it's, of the game, but. 
Man, hey, listen, hey, man. hey, 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 it, it, it's going to be a lot of hurt. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of hurt drivers out here. They over here talking about that uh, that we got a driver shortage now. Wait till they wait, yeah, wait, man. wait, wait till they start. Wait till they start this as a as a regular thing for for randoms. We we talk yeah. about for dudes that's already in the industry and they get hit with a random and they think they're gonna do that uh urine test, but no, bro. They, yeah, they, and they, your they, random they is a hair test. Mm, man, you, you your saying, random is a hair test. You saying that we wow. got you, you saying that we got driver shortage now. It's going going <sighs> going into the future. You just let's see how how much of an impact that that this hair follicle uh test is gonna is gonna is gonna do I don't to the think they're gonna industry. do it. Exactly what I'm supposed to not give a shit about. That's an excellent question to ask yourself in your actual voice. Excuse me. Some of us would like to order. Fuck it. You're a total dick, man. There. There you go. Good. You're talking. I don't think they're gonna do it. I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna do it. I, I don't know. I'm I agree with uh Bit Jerry. You know, that was the young lady in the video. I agree with uh -huh. her. These these mega carriers, they get they got leverage, bro. They got leverage. Yeah. And, and when they and when all of them get together and 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 they 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 pushing, eventually FMCSA is gonna listen and be like, Yeah, maybe we should go ahead and uh drug test with the hair follicles. But let me ask you this, bro, before we get on up out of here. Um, uh -huh. I'd say three, or that was supposed to be the, the minimum. They got you at 10. What do uh -huh. you what what do you think is a is is a is a good amount for uh a time period? Yeah, time period. What what do you think? Um man. If you asking me a time period on okay, now let's say if they do a hair follicle on you, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like that hair follicle should go back, you know, like they say, 90 days. You know what I mean? I feel like that hair follicle should go back 90 days. I feel like, you know, just like you know, just just like the way it is. The urine test should go back 30 days. You know, it you know, may, maybe even you know, 60 days. But, you know, I, I, I want to say after 28, 30 days, the marijuana is out of your system in your uh, urine and they can't detect it anyway. But as far as the hair as follicle. far as the hair follicle, I feel like it's kind of at their discretion. Mm. I feel like they can look at it and see like, OK, it looks like here at three months, he didn't have none four months you know what i mean it looked like you know six months it's you know like, he didn't have you know what i mean they it's, can it's they can like look they, at it and tell when you stop it's like they fishing right it's like they, they fish exactly it's it, it, like you said three months okay he didn't have none in 90 days he yeah. uh he didn't he didn't have none in 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 in, in six months days. he didn't have right. none in six months and then now and then they the, look like, oh, okay. Well, and then now, they you know, found ten, it. You know, yeah, you get to the 10 months month, ago. Right. They, yeah, they oh, find yeah, it. He had some. Yeah, he has some. You know what I mean? Okay, like, so come gonna, on now. I got you. I got you. All right, you bro. Y'all can tell whether somebody's a, a, a chronic, you know, smoker mm -hmm. or, you know, somebody Habitual that, you know, smoker. put that down. Yeah, or somebody that put that down and they're trying to change their lifestyle. You know, man. But hey, man, uh, I appreciate you, man, having me hey, on the show, bro. Thank no, you. no doubt, no doubt, guys. You know the best conversation starts over here on the Lockout Man Podcast Show. If you want to jump on, you know how to do it: two one six six zero zero two zero nine zero, and jump on and have a good conversation like my guy right here, Columbus, Ohio. That's what's Ohio up. I really, I really appreciate you coming on, bro. For sure, man. Thank you, man. Have a good one, bro. Uh, Pimp CPA trio figure. Polo, fuck that heel figure. Made myself a ghetto star. On the slab, sipping bar. Smoking weed and selling white. Them other niggas work, don't come back right. That's how niggas get popped. Trying to get the cheaper price. Watch your paper, guard your life. Cause most of these niggas ain't living right. Keep your pistol, fuck a fight. Cause niggas out here, Jack.